Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. He's back, he's back. It's Michael Amar week, that's right. Well, it's really easy to master card miracles series week. Yeah, there's nine volumes in this. Nine volumes uh, when you pay 25 bucks to your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer, you'll get one of these envelopes. Inside is the download code and any necessary gaffes you might need to perform the bonus effect. Uh, 25 bucks and nine altogether. I've done reviews for volumes one through four. So we're gonna look at volumes five, six, seven, eight, and nine this week. Let me tell you all about it. The Michael Amar Easy to Master Card Miracle Series is the best selling card series ever produced in Magic because Michael has already sorted through thousands of effects to bring you only the strongest and most powerful card magic available. All the magic taught in this course is easy enough for the beginner, but it's also strong enough for any professional routine. He's got clear teaching, concise teaching. It's gonna add to the personal experience you receive as he guides you through each move to ensure your success. Every volume contains 10 classic effects. You're gonna see it performed in front of a live audience, multiple camera angles, all through the explanations, and each volume includes a free bonus effect and the gaffes to perform it. All right, easy to master card miracles six. Michael Amar, is it what I thought? Well, of course, right? Of course, uh, this series has been around for a really long time. First came out on VHS. Somebody asked me the other day if I still uh, could play VHS. I can, because there's some, there's some tapes I have that I don't think I'll ever be able to replace. So I've kept a VHS player in my garage uh, for just such an occasion. I haven't gotten out in a long time, so who knows if it even still works. But <laughs> VHS uh, then became DVD, right? And now we have them as downloads. I'm really liking the digital transfer on these. Like the colors are nice and bright. Uh, it's just nice to watch these uh, so clean right? The downloads are, are super clean. And you're going to get a download code, obviously. Uh, there's two downloads. Each one's about an hour because it used to be a two disc set, right? That's just kind of the way they were um, edited. And then you're going to get a little handful of gaffs. The gaffs are well made. They're bicycle. Uh, it's a combination of rider backs and maiden backs. There's some maiden back gaffs because they did a little, they did a little funny business with the back design. So you can't, you can't alter uh, a writer back. And they're for a Nick Trost effect. In the video, um, Michael Amar's got uh, just generic backs, like, because that's probably what was available back then. But you get uh, writer backs, you get bicycle backs. So they, they look super nice. Bic I should say bicycle, right? They're made in backs, but they're super nice. So the quality on the cards that you get uh, with this one is, is super cool. So uh, you're going to get four gaff cards. And like I said, they're for the Nick Trost effect. It's a flash ace production from a seemingly bad uh, poker hand. And they're, they're standard gaffes. They're probably uh, what you'd expect. And then there's a, uh, you get, a, well, and there's an extra random uh, jack inside there too, but it's pretty much a packet trick, right? It's, you're getting all the cards you need for the packet trick. As far as the overall quality and production value of the video, uh, it's shot old LNL style, right? LNL audience, uh, Michael Amar is wearing his l, &L suit. <laughs> First trick is called Close Up Illusion. It's by Larry Jennings. It's where you have an odd backed card placed on the bottom of three cards and you keep seeing it melt up to the middle. The next trick is called Play It Straight Triumph from John Bannon. A card is selected and then you shuffle the cards a la Triumph style, face up and face down. And when you fan through the cards, only a straight of spades is revealed and it reveals the selection the spectator picked. The next two tricks go together. The first one is Sleeve Aces by Al Leach. You're gonna show uh, four random cards and as you rub them against your sleeve or against the table, they turn into aces. And that changes to Spelling Collins Aces by Martin Lewis, which is an ace assembly that ends with you spelling to the aces. Uh, that effect also leads to Jumping Gemini by Darwin Ortiz. So this is what's nice about this, is you get to watch all three tricks back to back. 
and then you will learn all three tricks back to back. So this is a little routine that you can do all in one sitting. Uh, Jumping Gemini is a chase the ace of spades effect that transforms into saying, oh, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't be chasing the ace because all of these are the 10 of hearts. And you show all four cards into the 10 of hearts, which then uh, you, you uh, show that the cards turn into all kings after that. The second video begins with Impossible by Larry Jennings. This is when you're gonna have your spectator select a card uh, under impossible conditions and reassemble the deck while your back is turned. And then you give them the deck fully admitting that your card was found and lost under impossible conditions, and then they, in their hands, spell to their card. That leads to a fun little quickie called Card on Forehead, which is pretty much self-explanatory, right? And then that leads to Triple Coincidence by John Scarney. This is a a two-deck trick. You have a, a blue deck, your spectator has a red deck, and three times you will trade cards randomly. You'll then fan through the cards and see that the selections that each one of you chose were identical. Then you're gonna learn Miracle. This is a wallet prediction. It's really cool and probably one of my favorites on this tape. Uh, You're gonna have several cards on the table with your back turned. They're gonna freely select one and lose it back into the deck. You're gonna pull one prediction out of your wallet, no switches, and it's their selection. The 10th trick is called Oil and Queens. It's a Roy Walton effect. It starts off like an oil and water effect where you mix the cards red and black, but then what ends up happening is even though you're using spot cards, the remaining four cards turn into queens. That trick leads into Queen's Salière from Die Vernon, and this is really unique. I've never seen this before. It's a matrix, matrix effect using postcards, meaning you play, lay the postcards over the queens and they assemble under the last postcard. And then your last effect is the bonus trick, Ace in the Hole from Nick Trost. And like I said earlier, you're gonna have five random cards that make up a poker hand. And then in a flash, each card individually turns into an ace. So uh, it's a really quick effect, really. It's a really quick effect that's all done with gaff cards. So in this video, you're getting a, a nice, selection between packet tricks and full deck tricks. It seems like in this one, there was, it was probably 50-50. There was a lot of in the hands, like um, Monty style or packet style, even the, um, the oil and water effect only used a handful of cards. So there was quite a few um, packet tricks in this. So if you like packet tricks, this has got a, a nice grouping of that. Plus the gaff cards that you get are all for a single packet trick, right? Which is a Nick Trost effect. So, I mean, who doesn't love Nick Trost? Um, So yeah, a great selection of effects. And as far as how difficult are these, you know, like we said earlier, all of these tricks are easy to do, easy to approach. Whether you know the slights or not, Michael's gonna walk you through everything. And that's one of the reasons why these videos are so long. You know, an hour, and he's only teaching you five tricks because He's gonna cover every slight. And so you're gonna get elements in the video where they slow everything down and other elements where you see over the shoulder shots. Uh, Michael Amar holds your hand through all of it. So, so positives, once again, uh, a, nice, a, a nice grouping of tricks. This time 13, okay? 13 tricks. In some of the other videos, you only get 10 or 11. You get 13 on this one. So uh, a lot of fun. Plus if you like ace routines, there's a lot of ace routines in this. Uh, if, you, if you like, uh, different cards that use ace routines. That's always awesome too. Couldn't see anything negative with this one. I pretty much liked every trick and I liked the time and the attention to it. I liked the gaffes. It's going to be hard to find negatives with these, uh, the, the series, just because it is a classic that people go back to time and time again. Whenever there's a, a newbie in one of the forums, they're saying, hey, I want to learn some really good card tricks, some easy tricks, but I don't want them to look like the same kind of tricks that you find in you know, the kids magic books or you know, the simple to do 101 card tricks. These tricks that you're learning are not those tricks. These tricks are easy, yes. Some of them are even self-working and, and re- or, or require a minimal amount of slides, but they are all created by, you know, like today, right? John Bannon, and uh, Di Vernon and uh, Roy Walton, like 
big, big top names. These are tricks that you could do professionally. Well, that's everything I wanted to say about volume six. And like I said, 25 bucks available from your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer. I hope I've answered some questions for you or at least introduced you to something that you didn't already know something about. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, and follow. Push all those buttons. That really helps me out a lot. And big, huge thanks to Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Over 600 videos. There are over 600 videos in the Magic Orthodoxy membership section right now, and you can have access to all of it. What's the member section? What's in there? Well, more reviews. Every week, you're gonna get two more reviews. These are tricks that I purchase with my own money every single week, two extra videos. That means you'll have access to eight extra videos a month. There's also gonna be head-to-head -head battles where I pit two tricks against each other. You're gonna see all the unboxings, so you'll see all the tricks that are purchased. You'll see what's coming up way before anybody else. I'm gonna walk you through my EDC several times a year. I'm gonna to talk to you about which routines I'm building with the tricks I purchase, and you'll even get access to tutorials. That's right, I'll even teach you magic. And there's two ways to join, two ways to join. You can first, you can enter in at only $2 a month with The Faithful. As a member of The Faithful, you'll get access to two videos a week. That's eight extra videos a month. Or you can join the Inner Circle for $4.99 a month. That'll give you access to three videos a week. And the tutorials are there in the Inner Circle. That's 12 videos a month. How do you join? Right down in the bottom of this video, there should be a square button that says join. You just click that. If you can't find the join button, you can access the link that is in the video description below. Click that, it'll take you to another menu. There you'll get to select whether you wanna join as a faithful member or the inner circle, and then you'll start to enjoy those 600 videos. 600 videos right away. Stay as long as you want, stay a member as long as you want, or cancel at any time. This is just another uh, way that I make content available to you because I enjoy giving back and I enjoy each and every one of you as a follower. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.